Parky, Wembley on Sunday, it's definitely an occasion to savour, isn't it, for everyone? Yeah, firstly, a fantastic achievement um, from the players and, and the staff and everyone at the club to, uh, to get to Wembley again. Um, regulars um, down at Wembley over the last few years. Um, and again, a, a great achievement in a cup competition this time, not the playoffs. Um, so uh, hopefully be a good occasion. Um, and we're obviously going to, to win the game and, uh, and win a trophy. We'll start off with the game against Sunderland back in 2000 at a fairly controversial incident which we've been reminded of a few times on social media. What were your memories of that game? Um, all I remember is I was playing on, on the far side away from the dugouts and Stephen Frail came on as a substitute um, to play in the same position that I was playing in um, and he said why are you still on the pitch? And I said, what are you doing on the pitch? And obviously I was the substitute that was supposed to make way where Clint Hill had been sent off and the game had restarted and then there was a load of chaos after it, obviously. So was it was it confusion on pitch for everyone at that time? Yeah, nobody knew what was going on. Yeah, obviously I know Sunderland weren't happy with with what had gone on at the time, um, but it, I think it was genuinely just an innocent mistake. And back then, that was the times where Tramie were famous for for cup runs and a period in time that you were a big part of. Yeah, unbelievable over that couple of years. Um, 99 really to, to 2001 um, we did particularly well it seemed to be in the cup competitions FA Cup League Cup um, that we were really strong especially against the uh, the big big opponents um, you know at Prenton Park and away from home as well and got some unbelievable results and um, had some fantastic players over that period and the cup competitions were always always spared on by the fans the fans were a big part of, of those cup runs unfortunately they won't be there this time but yeah. you know I'm of a difference that could make. Yeah, big shame that the fans won't be there. Um, but um, you know, it's something that the players have been uh, have been dealing with all season, so it'll, it'll be no different. Um, I uh, I actually played at Wembley for, for Cambridge in uh, 2009. I think it was. There was only like 20,000 fans in there, so it seemed like it was empty anyway. And I think you get that with the with some of the lower league teams. You know, when there's not many fans in there. Um, obviously, playing Sunderland, you would think that they would they would bring a few if fans were allowed. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think that'll have much bearing on it um, because the players are used to it. But it's a big shame that our supporters won't be able to to make the trip to Wembley. Um, because they've been a, a massive factor um, over, the, over the period of time that I've been here as a player and a, and a coach. You've been involved in both cup finals for trophies and playoff finals. Is there a difference when you're on the sideline or on the pitch? Um, yeah, there is because you can't influence it when you're when you're on the sideline. So you know, as, as part of now the, the management team, you, you have no bearing on what the players um, do once they, they cross the white line. All we can do is the, uh, the correct preparation and give the players all the information that they need going going into the game. Um, as a player, it's much easier because you can directly influence the flow of the game. And um, you know, you, you're playing me as an attacker. I was playing for them big moments in, in the big games. And we've had our fair share of playoff finals, which essentially define the season. Is there a bit less pressure going into a cup final, or is it just all about winning? Um, it is about winning. Every game's about winning. Um, as you say, you know, I don't suppose you've got the immense pressure of you know um, that you know having a direct impact on what league you're going to be playing in next season. Um, but we want to be going there to to win to win the trophy, um, no matter what cup competition it is. You always enter into win. Um, that's no different for us, and you know, great achievement to get through to the final. But we want to be uh, we want to be winning the trophy. We've been at Wembley, like I say, a lot of times in recent years, and we know what it's like to be on both sides. So we're doing everything we can this time to make sure we're on the winning side again. Yeah, definitely. You know, we'll, we'll be the underdogs going into going into the fixture. I think um, over the years, over the last twenty or so years, we've more often than not been the underdogs um, going into the big games, which I think we play the role of underdogs really well. And um, we've got a history of playing the role of underdog really well. So um, hopefully that. Um, that's the same going into going into the uh, going into the cup final, and um, we can come away having uh, been a victorious underdog. It's been no secret that the aim for this season is promotion, but it, this comp competition has served us really well for, for many reasons, hasn't it? 
Yeah, really well. It's it's enabled um, all the players to get much needed game minutes. Um, you know, we've used the squad really well in this competition this season, and um, the lads that have, have come in and played have done fantastically well. Um, likewise, the, the players who've been regulars in, in the, the team that's played more predominantly in the league and they've played in the competition as well and, and done great. Um, so it's been a real squad effort to get to, to get through to the final so um, the players should all be proud of the, the, the effort they've put into the competition and, um, and fingers crossed we're coming away uh, victorious. And that was my next question, it is testament isn't it to how good the squad depth is and everyone's chipping in whenever they can? Yeah definitely, um, everybody's had, to, had a part to play um, which, has been, uh, which has been brilliant for them because it gives uh, the squad players that inclusion on in, in terms of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve uh, enables them to um, to be totally up on what the manager's asking them to do um, and that the players um, that have played in this cup competition have, have had a go in the league as well and, and done really well in, uh, in, in both aspects. And just overall the mood in the camp at the minute I'm assuming is really positive? Really buoyant at the moment. Um, Doing well in the league, obviously we're up there near, near the top of the league, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, and this is nice to get to a cup final. But like I said, we uh, we're really focused on uh, on trying to win. And just finally, I was speaking to Joe Murphy not long ago about the the last cup final you were involved, and he couldn't believe it was 21 years ago. I'm sure, you're the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're making me feel really old now. So thanks for that. Um, but yeah, time flies, eh? But you know that's in the past. Uh, we're, we're just uh, looking to the future, and uh, on both fronts, league and cup, it'd be uh, it'd be fantastic to be uh, victorious in both.